Hey there, golfers and golfettes. Tom Segudo here, PGA member and founder of Segudo Golf with your weekly e-tip. And this week I got a request from one of my students. He wanted me to talk about tempo. Actually, it was his niece who made a request. So uh, if you're watching this, we're going to be talking about tempo today. And what is tempo and, and why it's so important for your golf game to have a good tempo. So for the musicians in the audience, tempo is something that you'll understand right away. It's simply a constant beat or rhythm, like when you're tapping your foot to a song. That's tempo. It's a constant beat that you're hearing in a song. So if you can keep rhythm, usually you have a good sense of what tempo is in the golf swing. Well, in the golf swing, tempo is the same thing as rhythm. It has nothing to do with how fast you swing the club as far as club head speed. I'll get in that, to that in a minute. Tempo is simply the smoothness of your swing as it appears. So there are people with slow tempos whereby their swing appears to flow slower back and through. And there are people with fast tempos where their swing happens in the blink of an eye. Notice how I'm saying tempo and not swing speed. The people with the slower tempo can swing the club faster than someone with a fast tempo. So I don't want you to get confused and think like, if you have a fast tempo, you're going to swing it faster. Not always true. A lot of the guys on TV, guys and gals on TV, they swing the club with varying tempos, but a lot of them have similar swing speeds. For example, a tour pro who swings it nice and slow might swing the club 120 miles an hour with a driver, and that's very fast. Tempo in your golf game should be for your individual game. It's not something that I can pick for you. There's no best tempo out there as far as what works across all lines. I think this is something that you have to find because we all move to a different pace. And it's a little bit of golf psychology, but we each got different personalities. Your personality and your golf swing is your own golf fingerprint in a way. Nobody has the same golf swing and nobody has the same rhythm or tempo. So, how do we find the best tempo? Well, first, I want to give you some things that you should probably think about when you're choosing your tempo. One, slow is not always best, nor is fast always best, nor is a moderate tempo always best. These tempos could work for you, but they might also not work for you. Put me in a fast tempo, it doesn't work for me. Put me in a slow tempo, I feel off balance. But my tempo seems to be right in the middle somewhere. Right about there. And that's what I found works best for me. To find work, what works best for you, we have to hit different shots. So I, I might go to the range and hit five or ten shots at different tempos. Tempo being rhythm. Five with a, a slow rhythm, five with a medium rhythm, and five with a fast rhythm. Or you can start fast and go to slow. So I might get up here and hit three different shots with three different tempos. I'll start nice and fast. So here we go, fast tempo. Medium tempo, this is around my normal swing. And then finally a slow tempo. This is a little bit slower than what I would do. One more slow tempo one. Okay, so three tempos. I felt like slow was just out of, se out of sequence for me. Um, it just didn't feel like my swing was working well together. So what does a good tempo mean in your swing? What does a good tempo feel like? Well, one, you've got to feel like you're able to have your entire body engaged. What I mean by that is, when you're swinging, are you still connected? Is your body still in rhythm? Are you stopping turning at certain points? If you find that you're disconnecting and you're, you're finding that your swing's really jittery and out of sorts, it's not the right tempo for you. 
when I got down to the slow tempo, I felt like I didn't have enough, just didn't feel right. So I didn't go with it because it doesn't work for me. Um, when I did the fast tempo, I still kind of felt like I was rushing things. So I find myself somewhere in the middle. But when you go out and play and practice, find the tempo that works for you because it's going to end up leading to keeping your swing together. Uh, one of the, a professional golfer once said that tempo is the glue that holds the swing together. And I hopefully by this episode, you're going to find the tempo that is the glue for your golf swing. And what I mean by glue is it's going to cause you to be more consistent throughout every shot that you hit. And you're gonna hit better golf shots, more powerful ones, because your body's going to be working in harmony as opposed to a bunch of parts just flying around. Uh, one final note on tempo. Temp a good tempo can fix swing flaws in your game and your tempo should be consistent throughout. So you're going back and through, it's the same tempo. It's not gonna go back slow and through fast. Some people can get away with that. For most part, you wanna keep it very consistent and rhythmic. That's my last little note for you on tempo. All right, golfers and golfettes, have an awesome week and I look forward to seeing you on the range. Tom Segudo here. PGA member, founder of Sugudo Golf, signing off. And then I'll see you in the next week's e-tip. Thanks for watching.